start. And obviously, this is uh, negative for U.S. equity markets, I would imagine, in terms of the, the impact, it, or maybe it's not. It, 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 it should be, I think, at first glance. There, there's actually, though, been a pretty strong correlation uh, between oil prices and the stock market over the past really over the past six months to, to a year. So it's been pretty pretty strong. So the, the problem with this is that oil prices are rising probably for the wrong reason. They're not rising necessarily because uh, economic growth is stronger. They're rising, Although, rising for regulatory reasons. But year to date, both Brent and crude are up between, uh, I think, 34 percent and 41 percent, yeah. respectively. So This is a pretty uh, big deal, though. I mean, th this is a situation where the reason oil prices collapsed back in November is because of all these sanctions that had been granted that hadn't been expected. Oil prices to that point had been pricing in that these sanctions were going to bring you to almost zero. Uh, with this actually happening at the same time we're trying to get Venezuela to not, uh, yeah. Venezuelan exports to not be accepted by other countries, that could put a real squeeze on oil prices. It, it, it as could. As we get into a busier driving season. It, it, it's true. I, I think, um, again though, I, I, you know, we try to focus on what drives largely the U.S. If you're looking at it from a U.S. perspective, obviously what drives U.S. economy is, is consumer spending, right? And, um, Maybe not the economy from, large, for, but I think for oil prices for in particular. Oil prices in particular. Oil prices, you know, the energy sector has been uh, a laggard for a long period of time. Now you're starting to see some, some consolidation uh, in the sector, obviously. Uh, there's more concerns about shale in terms of uh, you know, oil by shale and, and that production. Uh, as well. But I, I'm not sure this is going to be enough, but in my own personal opinion, I, I think I'm more uh, focused on the fact that the earnings recession that a lot of people were expecting is Has probably happened. it's probably unlikely to come about as as severely as people had had expected. This it's hard to say this is a good event. I'm not saying it's a good event, but it's uh, there are other other factors. In I terms think, of the are guidance that we will hear from on conference calls, I mean, oil being up uh, to year to date highs, the dollar index being at one and a half month highs at this point. I mean, these are things that companies will likely address and I would imagine would impact most companies negatively. Yeah, I think that's true. And I also think, though, that um, it, it will also have a very big impact on how the Fed sees things as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and next week, we'll see, you know, on May 1st, I believe, is the next, the next Wednesday, uh, you'll get another, uh, get another uh, reading from the Fed in terms of uh, how they're thinking about things. And I would say they would probably have to view this in some ways as somewhat deflationary mm -hmm. uh, to the, as far as global growth uh, is concerned. If anything, that might keep them uh, on the sidelines a bit more. If, if the earnings recession that we thought was going to be here doesn't look like it's going to materialize, how, how come you saw a weaker S&P 500 last week? Is that just a reflection of how far we've come? I, th I think so. I mean, you're still 1%, you were 1% oh, okay. below where you were in, in October. This has been an incredible run, really, from, I think it was Christmas Eve, really, was the low, I believe, uh, on December 24th. Uh, and a lot of that, I think, was driven by the Fed. The uh, S&P uh, fell close to 10% between their meeting on December December 20th and uh, and December 24th, and I think obviously you saw a pretty big reversal where Chairman Powell was you know, doing everything except sent, you know, sending flowers and candy to the New York Stock Exchange by by January 3rd. I mean there was a big tone change in terms of the way uh, the Fed was looking at things, and I think that's being reflected uh, in equity prices.